Hello guys, my name is Mohammed Ali and welcome back to your channel Coding Cafe. So finally in this video tutorial we will be working on retrieving all the user comments. Uh, I mean finally in this video tutorial we will complete the comments section. So as you know that in the previous video tutorial we have successfully created a comments layout for our displaying the comments. So now we will be using a Firebase Recycler adapter to display all the user comments here on our comments activity. So yeah, let's do it. So as you know that for the Firebase Recycler adapter, we need uh, two things. One is the module class and one is the static class. So first of all, for that, let's create a module class. So click here, click new, click Java class. So the name of this class will be comments click ok and our comments.java class is created successfully and now inside this static class we need uh, the things which is here i mean which you want to retrieve so if i come here you can see we have these comments and under this comments node there's a post key and this we have this uh, five i mean the username the uid the time date and comment for now as you know that we are going to retrieve the comment the date the time and the username so make sure to use these same names here uh, on our this uh, module class comments.java so what i'm going to do i will simply write public public string so the first one is you can you know that is comment if i show you it is c o w m e n t comment date time and username so comment date time comment date time and the fourth one is username and as i told you in the upcoming video tutorials uh, if i get too many requests to display the profile picture alongside with the comments then yes i will add that too in the upcoming video tutorials if you go if you guys want me to do that then i will do it but for now we will display all these things so public string comment date time username then we need a default constructor so what i am going to do here i will simply write public comments and this is our default constructor and then after that it needs a constructor with all these four parameters so i will click here and here you can see there is generate constructor with all these four parameters click ok so this is our constr uh, constructor with parameters and then after that we need setter and getter for all the four parameters so i will simply click here on uh, generate and getter and setter this one getter and setter all select all these four click ok and you can see that we have setter and getter method for the comments for the username for the date and time so yeah this is our module class it is done successfully now the next thing is to create a static class and then we will, uh, I mean, in order to use the Firebase Recycler adapter, we have to use both these class. So we will create a static class here on our comments activity.java file. So, so come down here and above this validate method, let's create another method and we will call, uh, sorry, <laughs> we will create a class basically, public static class. So it will be our static class. So we can say static class and let's call it as comments view holder comments view holder it should extends the uh, recycler view recycler view dot view holder and now we can create a constructor for this so we can click generate click constructor and you can see that this is our constructor and now here above we can say view to get the view of the recycler view so we can say m um, view and now inside this constructor we can say m view equals to 
item view and now we are ready to use the firebase recycler adapter so for that here above the static class we are going to create a method i mean the on start method and inside this on start method what we are going to do that is we are going to use the firebase recycler adapter so we can say firebase recycler adapter and it needs two parameter as you know that the first one is the comments the module class comments which we created earlier in this video and then the static class which we created just now so we can say firebase recycler uh, sorry firebase i mean the comments view holder okay this class i mean the static class so copy this and paste it here and then let's call this as firebase recycler adapter equals to new firebase recycler adapter and alongside with it this populate view holder method is created successfully and now inside this what we gonna do now so inside this uh, public static class we are going to set the username date time and and the things which we created and first of all before we move to that as you know that the firebase recycler adapter here click enter and this needs four parameters so the first parameter is the module class comments dot class the second it needs is the layout i mean the layout which we created for the comments so we can say r dot layout dot all comments layout and the fourth parameter its need is the static class comments view holder dot class and the fourth one its need is the reference to the database I mean reference to our this comments node so yeah let's create a reference so we have this let me check the previous references which we created in the previous tutorial so we have already uh, created that reference which is the first ref firebase database the post node okay which is this one and under this post node we have a post key and for under this each post key we have this comments node so you can see that post key and this comments so as you remember we have created this post ref in the previous video tutorial when we were uh, storing these comments so we can uh, use the same reference here so come down here and here we can say after this that is post ref which is linked to the node if I show you to the node up to comments you can see that okay so it is linked so we have called this as post ref so we are using that reference okay so I hope you understand that the post the post keys and then the comments under each post key there will be comment if there is uh, if it is available then so now the next thing is to set the username and all the date and time etc for each comment so inside this static class here what we gonna do let's go to the module class comments and from here we are going to copy this set username method public void set username copy this up to here control c and now let's come here to the comments activity paste that here paste it and uh, we are going to work on it so this is our username and let's come here again and we will now copy the public set comment public void set comment control c let's come here Paste it down below this also and now we will the next one will be the time and date so let's copy this public void set that control C and paste it down here 
and after that we have to set the time so this one public white set time and let's paste it here so yeah that's it and now we have to access the fields on our all uh, which we created earlier which is all comments layout okay we have to access these fields now and we have to set that here so here we can set text view and let's call this as uh, user let's call it as my username I mean the user who will be online okay we need this because we have to retrieve the data so we are just storing it I mean you can give it any name which you want okay so my username equals to text view m view dot find view by id or dot id dot and if I show you the you for the username the id is comment username so we can use the same id here comment username that's it and now let's display it so we can say my username dot set text so the text we want to display is stored inside this username variable which is this one which we retrieve from this module class and we have to get that from the module class uh, in the populate view holder method uh, now in few seconds or you can say in few minutes but first let complete all these now the next one is the set comment so we can copy this from here let's paste it for the comment and we will change it so text view and now it is comment so I can call it as my comment and then we have a text view and the ID for it is comment let's check it what is the ID for this it is comment uh, comment text so we can say comment text so my comment not set sorry for that my comment dot let's do it manually my comment dot set text to the comment okay and now let's paste it here also oh sorry let's copy this first paste it for the date and we will change it so this will be my date and the id for the date is you know it is comment date so my date to date and the last one is time so my time to comment comment time time and this is my time so yeah that's it and we have to do some to add some space here so curly braces plus username so inside this we can use this at the rat this will be best this is basically a text which we want to display uh, alongside uh, I mean with the username like that and then after this we want to display some space some empty space just to uh, just to sh display it I mean so it will looks beautiful on our comments activity when all the comments will be retrieved from the firebase database and also for the comment uh, we have then the comment section and uh, yes the comment and then we have date and time so for the date we are going to display a simple text so one two spaces and then we can add as date and date space so then the date and after that we have to display the time so also for the time we can display a simple text one two two spaces and time colon space and then the time so yeah everything is okay now we have to get this time date from our module class so what we gonna do 
here we can say view holder dot set username model dot get username let's copy this line and we will change it for the date and time and yeah so the second one is the set comment get comment then we have the set date get date then we have a set time get time so yeah that's it now the most important step is to set the comment list or you can say the recycle adapter with the firebase recycle and the recycle view with the firebase recycle adapter so for that we have a comment list as you know that it is our the recycler view which is the comment list and we have uh, do it in the previous video tutorial if you remember so what we're going to do we have to set it so we can say comment list dot set adapter to the firebase recycler adapter fire which is this one if i show you which is this one okay this is how you can pass that here so yeah let's run our app now so wait for it until it run so up to that if you guys have any confusion or any question if you want me if you want to ask me then you can simply uh, on our channel coding cafe here it is uh, the link is given ask any question which is a link to our facebook page and don't forget to follow me on my instagram twitter and facebook these are the links to my uh, social media accounts so you can follow me there so that you can never miss any new single update from coding cafe or from me so let's check it's still running so let's wait for it for a few seconds so yeah i will be i mean we will be starting uh, another android project soon and also we will start game development i mean android mobile phone uh, games using android studio basically android games so uh, i will tell you guys about that uh, very soon in the upcoming video tutorials that is which game we are going to develop and for that you can also follow me on my social accounts on twitter instagram and facebook there i regularly will update you guys about uh, what i'm going to do uh, and about our new projects and yeah if you uh, have not subscribed to my channel yet so please subscribe our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so yeah our app is running now successfully so now let's click on this comment button and you can see that the comment is retrieved successfully now let's add another comment so let's say hello my second comment trust gold always of course so let's click on this post button comment post button so you can see that hello my second comment trust gold always and you can see that this is the username this is the date that is on which date i comment this post so at the time when i am recording this video the date is 21st may 2018 and now the time is 7 5 okay you can see that and uh, let's add another comment third comment horror thanks god let's click on button so you can see that all the three comments are displaying here successfully if i go back and let's comment on someone else's post so let's comment on this post let me write comment of course trust code always so you can see that it is working fine